Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So in today's video I'm finally going to be doing an epic foundation declutter. I just wanted to quickly preface this video by saying that this declutter was filmed towards the end of October 2023 right before I was moving. So you won't be able to see any of the newer foundations in my collection that I was reviewing lately on here, like for example, the Rose Ink Foundation or the R.E.M. Beauty Foundation. I'm not really planning on getting rid of them straight away. I still want to hold on to them for a while. You know, I just wanted to have said if you are looking for any of those in this video, you won't be able to find them because this video was filmed like a couple of months ago. But rest assured, I most likely will be filming another declutter towards the end of this year. My goal with this video was basically to make some room in my cabinet because it was over floating with foundations. It got to a point where my foundations took up two drawers and I just wanted to cut it down to one drawer only. And I will say that in this video I'm getting rid of more than 50% of my entire foundation collection because also I did not want to move with all of this product that wasn't of any use to me anymore. And also guys just keep in mind that this is a little bit of a longer video because I am going to go through over a hundred foundations and I'm not just going to do it in a like you know keep or get rid of speedy sort of fashion. I'm really going to try and give you a reason to why I am holding on to a product or why I'm decluttering it. And also since this is my very first declutter because I was holding these foundations for over three years. <laughs> Let me know if you actually enjoy this type of content by giving it a thumbs up. And also in case you are new here, please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos. And also please do let me know in the comment section down below, have you done a declutter recently? I would be really intrigued to know what product has left your building. So just drop me a comment down below. But all right, you guys, I don't want to make this intro too long because this video is already long. So I would say without no further ado, let's just get this epic declutter rolling. All right, so let's start off with the very first tray and let's get this declutter party going. So I just want to point out that this tray is in closest proximity to my hands. So when I open up my drawer, this is kind of the tray that I like to reach for the most. Does not mean that, you know, those are all of the foundations that I love the most. There are definitely some that I might be decluttering. And you're also going to see a couple of foundations where I do have a couple of shades. And most of the time it's because it's a winter and a summer shade. Or I initially purchased a shade mismatch and I replaced it or I need to mix two shades together but I will explain this to you when we go through each and one of them but just so you know why there's like double product sometimes or even like triple product as in this case right here but yeah let's do this product by product and I'm gonna decide what to keep and what to let go all right so let's actually start off with my Kosas foundations right here. The Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 25. I've got this in two shades. Basically, this is my summer shade and this one is my winter shade. So this is the shade uh, 180. So light with cool pink undertones. And then this one is light medium with subtle pink undertones, neutral 200. I really like this foundation. That's why I've got this in two shades. This is like more of like a medium coverage foundation. It's kind of creamy. It honestly has more of like a radiant finish, but it's as much radiance as I can bear. And I also can powder this one down. So we're going to keep this in my collection most definitely. The next one is the House Lab, what's this called? Oh my gosh, Triclone Skin Tag Foundation. This foundation, uh, I don't like this. I have this in the shade, what shade is this? Gosh, you guys, I can't remember any of my shades. 200 Light Medium Neutral. Uh, this was a good shade match, however, I don't like this formula one bit. It just does not wear well on my skin. Like I feel like my pores are getting clogged when I use this product over a long time. Now this has a couple of oils and it also 
does have some skincare ingredients, but I don't feel like I need skincare necessarily in my foundations. I do have a really solid skincare routine, so I don't really want to keep this. I'm just not a fan of the finish, of the wear time, of this entire experience, and this was quite a pricey product. I'm actually going to put this in a box where maybe one of my friends would want this, and maybe somebody else would love to try the formula, so I'm going to put that in that box. So with a cluttered one product so far. So the next product is going to be my RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. Uh, I've got this in the shade 22.5. That is a really good shape match for me in the summer. Um, I love this. This is like one of my favorite foundations. I also know it says 22 at the bottom. It's not the shade 22. I don't have that shade 22 anymore because that was way too yellow for me. So I have to go with 22.5, which is more of a sort of like neutral undertone. Honestly, one of my favorite foundations. It's like full coverage, beautiful sort of like natural satin finish, blends out like a dream with a sponge wears really really well and I was pleasantly surprised by this product because I do have a different foundation by RMS and we may get rid of that one today. But I really think this is an amazing 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 foundation and I would never want to part ways with this. Here we have one that looks kind of disgusting. <laughs> I apologize I did not clean my foundations prior to filming this one looks like rough. I don't mind the formula, but the shade is way too peachy for me. And I did try out a couple of other Lawless shades and none of their shades has the undertone that I like. None of them is going to work for me. I'm not sure what to do with this because I like to do full faces of Lawless. And, but I think at this point in time, I've done so many. So... But then I'm going to regret that I've decluttered this. So with this one, I'm a little bit torn what to do with it. It's actually a really like liquidy formula. It's very sort of like runny, but still has great coverage. Worse, okay, it's not like the best performing foundation that I have, but it's not a bad one. Like it's really an okay foundation. So I feel like, oh gosh, I, I need to clean this up though. <laughs> looks so yikes like what I am so sorry guys like this should not be the norm but maybe it's not the only one that's gonna look like that so just be prepared um yeah I might just hold on to this and clean this up a little bit further so the next foundation that I have here is by I done minerals it's their Nordic veal correcting long wearing mineral foundation I've got this in two shades I have this in the shade Freya 306 and I have it in the shade Dicer 307. This was too deep for me, way too deep. And this one is too yellow for me. I love this formula. It has gone bad though. I don't think this looks very healthy at this point in time. Um, this is like a Swedish brand. And I honestly love this formula. This was more of like, sort of like a matte, like a satin to matte finish without being cakey or anything. It's actually a beautiful foundation however these shades it's like again like there is no shade in the shade range that works for me but this formula was great I do have a full face on this brand if you're interested in seeing it I look super yellow though I'm gonna warn you because I put the shade on this was too deep maybe this is actually working for me better now that I'm not blonde anymore I'm not sure maybe we'll give this a try again but I'm definitely gonna part ways with this. Oh yeah, this has gone bad. Look at, ew, look at that fluid. Ew, that is, that is disgusting. This needs to go. So this is one that I'm gonna bring to the recycling center. And this one, I might just try out just for the shade. And if the shade matches me, I will purchase this again. Like I'm going to, because I actually like this formula. I really did enjoy it. So. But these two, these two bottles, they can definitely go into the declutter box. All right, so here we have a Jane Iredale uh, foundation. This is the Beyond Matte Liquid Foundation. This is their foundation that's called matte and it's just not matte at all. This is more of like, like almost like a radiant, luminous, um, natural finish. 
I don't know why they thought it would be a great idea to call this foundation Beyond Matte. Now I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm actually planning on doing a video where I'm going to review all of the Jane Idol foundations in one video because I almost have them all at this point in time. I've got this in the shade M4. That is also a really good shape match for me. And I'm not gonna part ways with this product just for review purposes. Just know it's not my favorite Jane Iredale foundation. So for now, this is gonna stay in my collection though. Okay, so the next one is by Pacifica. This was their um, a light clean foundation and this has been discontinued. I don't know why Pacifica made this awful choice to discontinue such an amazing, amazing foundation. This was so good. It had a little bit of a fragrance in here. Um, it had also more of like a little bit more of a luminous finish, but it had great coverage, came in a beautiful, stunning bottle, and it was very affordable. Uh, I don't know if mine is still good. I have this in the shade 33 Neutral Light, and it's just so heartbreaking. Hopefully they're going to bring this product back because I also have another foundation, like a newer sort of skin tint product by them. And that one is just not the same. So I really hope maybe one day they, they might be able to bring this one back. Um, as of right now, I'm just gonna hold on to this. <laughs> so the next one is by a brand that I actually do enjoy. Um, a little bit overpriced the brand, but it's still a really good uh, brand that's an indie brand from I want to say Canada but I think they moved to Florida so this is a uh, fit glow beauty foundation I don't think this has a specific name um, they used to have another foundation I've got that somewhere and this is like their newer formula I'm gonna like try and give this to a friend because I am not a fan of this new formula this was just so greasy on me this did not wear well on my skin and I feel like it's because, you know, there's a lot of oils in here and it just does not work well with my skin. Now, if you have drier skin, maybe this will work a little bit better. I just, I can't use this. This is a formula that I personally don't really vibe with. So this is going to go into the box where maybe one of my friends would love to try this out. Why not? Oh, and then here we have a foundation that I never talked about on my channel that I never reviewed thus far, but I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, let me know if you're actually interested in a review on this product. Again, I have a little bit of an issue with uh, the shade. But this is the Osmosis Performance Wear Satin Foundation. I've got this in Natural Medium and I have it in Natural Light. Now, the Natural Medium one, it's a little bit too kind of like olive yellow almost an undertone for me. And then this one, it's like a little bit too light. So I can only wear this during the winter time. Honestly, this is like not a satin foundation though. I'm not sure why they call this satin. On me, this is very like luminous, very radiant. It's also like a little bit more of a thicker sort of cream. I still like it because I can powder it down, but it does not necessarily perform that well. Yeah, not necessarily my all time favorite formula, but a decent one. And I'm just gonna hold on for the sake of my channel. Like, I don't know if I would keep this necessarily if it wasn't for my channel, but it's okay. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's just kind of like an in-between foundation, you know? So I'm just gonna hold on to this. Ooh, and then we have something that I actually don't really like that much. So this is by AXA Beauty and this is their High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. Oh dear Lord, I don't know what to say about this foundation. I don't like this. Like there are so many people who apparently love this foundation. I don't understand. I have this in a really good shape match though. I have this in the shade Dana 430. It's a really good shape match. It was actually marketed as like a red undertone and it matches me so bomb. It's like such a good shape match. It really smells like citrusy. There's like some essential oil in here that gives it that fragrance and I'm also really, really not about that dewy finish. This is such a dewy finish. Like, I can't even remember how the texture was on this. I tried this out a couple of times. I think I wore this like three times. And then I was like, oh no, this is not for me. <laughs> if I would love like something dewy, something glowy, maybe I would completely vibe with this product. 
but I honestly, I just don't. I prefer something a little bit more natural leaning matte and this is just not for me. I mean, it's a little bit sad because it's such an amazing shape match, but yeah, this has to go. This has to go into that box where maybe I'm gonna make one of my friends happy with this. I just, it wasn't for me. And so let's continue with the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum. Uh, yeah, so this one, I actually don't really mind this product. It's actually okay. It has very light coverage, like, and I, as you can tell, I don't really reach for this that much. Like, I wish I would reach for it a little bit more. I feel like I'm not giving this the love it deserves, but this is just a problem of not having the occasion to wear this. I feel like this might, like, serve a purpose though in my collection so I don't really want to part ways from this also what shade is this this is the shade 050 I just know that this was a really good shape match I don't know if this might be a cool undertone I'm not sure but I just remember that this was an amazing shape match yeah I'm still gonna hold on to this as of right now oh I found another I done one I found the Norskin pure mineral illuminating foundation and don't be fooled, this is the shade Disa 207 and for some reason this is like a different... Wait, where's that other... So as you can see, this one it's a lot deeper, the one in the sort of like more satin matte foundation. The, sh the same shade, it's like a different number though, it's like 307 and this is 207. They've got the same name which is super confusing, just know that this one is definitely deeper. So this is their illuminating foundation. I honestly, I did not like this. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to try it out and I thought I could powder it down, but this just did not sit well on my skin and it just made my pores look huge. This illuminating one, definitely not my cup of tea, so yeah, maybe it's gonna find a better home. All right, and then a foundation that I definitely don't really want to part with. I mean, I've got three of them. I've got three shades. I love this foundation. This might be one of my favorite drugstore foundations in the world. This is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is actually the perfect 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 example of a foundation formula that is a little bit more radiant kind of like natural a little bit luminous on the skin I mean it's a hydrating foundation but that works so well when I powder it down and that performs amazingly I think one of them is like ten dollars or like twelve dollars something like that and this performs like better than some of like the really expensive foundations like this can literally outbeat a luxurious foundation formula. This is so fantastic, but this is a long story. I basically initially purchased the wrong shade and this is empty. I don't know if you can see this, but literally it, it, it's down to here. It's very hard because this is a very sort of like full coverage foundation to actually see how much is left in the bottle. This has completely dried out. Just look at that. This was my Oh yeah, there is almost like this is completely, like there's a little bit left, but it's definitely a wrong shade. This is the shade Neutral Haze. It has more of like an olivey undertone and I did not care. I just used this and used this even though I had the wrong shade. For the longest time, I even brought this with me on a holiday and I walked around with the <laughs> <laughs> with a complete like shape mismatch on my holiday so whatever I just love this formula as you can tell this is not my correct shade so I actually made the decision and I got my correct shade so this one is the shade cool almond 033 this is perfect in the winter time and then I also have a summer shade that one is the shade 043 and it's the shade neutral um, macchiato so I love these these are like the best shape matches that I have tried thus far and I really really enjoy them. The only thing is this has um, a fragrance in here. Most of the foundations, unless I've mentioned it, don't have a fragrance. Um, this has some perfume in here. However, it's a very very sort of light scent. I don't mind it at all. It does not linger on. It literally evaporates after like five minutes on my skin and yeah. I love these. These two are going to stay in my collection. This one can go to the recycling center. Yeah, but I will always have this foundation in my collection. 
I love it. It's such a good find from the drugstore and I, I'm in love with this foundation. So this is not going to go anywhere. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Airy Paris uh, Quinoa Water Foundation. You can tell two different shades. This was the first one that I purchased. This one has definitely expired. This is the shade Haze. It is way too yellow for me. So I purchased the shade Noon and that one is such a beautiful shade match. This is a really okay foundation. I really, really enjoy this. I would give this like a four out of five. I really like it, but it's really watery and liquidy. And I tend to use quite a lot of this in one go. I'm not gonna hold on to the shade. I'm not gonna give it to anyone. This has definitely gone bad by now. I do have another foundation by them. I'm gonna get to that one when we get to that tray. But just know that I, I, I this is my favorite one by Airy Paris. Oh my gosh, should we talk about anything but natural? So this is the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I've got this in the shade Tree, and I have this in another shade. Got this in two shades, you guys. I purchased this initially in the shade Tree, and then I purchased the shade 2.75. Um, yeah, this is so perfumey. That's my only issue with this. This has an amazing full coverage. It's very creamy. You don't need a lot of this product. But these shades, maybe the tree. Maybe I'm going to keep the tree, but I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, here is like a newer find at the drugstore. I got this NYX Can't Stop One Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Uh, it's more like a medium coverage that can be built up to a full coverage. It's nothing like that the NASA Myricks one, that vision cream, okay? This one, it's a little bit more like runny, buildable, has a nice finish, like more of a natural sort of satin finish, to be honest with you. Uh, I have this in the shade medium buff. That's actually a really good shape match. It's an okay shape match. Wouldn't say it's like my perfect shape match, but it's like the best I was able to find. I like this. I don't mind this. Um, I still plan on doing like a drugstore foundation ranking video. So uh, I'm really open to try out more stuff from the drugstore as of lately. So I feel like this was a good find and it's not bad, but it's like not like my Catrice one. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this right now. Again, I do want to make a video and again, I still need this for my channel and I also just recently purchased this. So I need to try this out a little bit more and it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay. Okay, just talking about the drugstore, let's quickly talk about this foundation. This is the ALF Oil Free Medium Coverage Flawless Satin Foundation. I've got this in the shade 210 Natural. Uh, this is such an amazing foundation. I really have enjoyed this. This though has a fragrance, so not the biggest fan of this fragrance that they put in this foundation. I wish this was like fragrance free. If this was fragrance free, I would, I mean, I reached for this quite a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't mind this. It's not like the best in terms of wear time. Uh, it has a good kind of amount of coverage, like medium coverage. That's a really good claim. You can definitely build this one up to more of a full coverage. It's flexible, it looks stunning on the skin, but yeah, I would say the breaking point with this is after like five hours, five to six hours max, and then depending on the powder that you have used on top of this, it, it, it kind of starts looking a little bit like, uh, you know, makeup-y. But all in all, I feel like it's a really good one. As of right now, I'm still gonna hold on to this because I actually enjoy it. I just don't enjoy the fragrance, that's it. Ooh, the next one, I might declutter this one. So this is uh, the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I had recently revisited this foundation in my Shop My Stash video where I just pulled out a bunch of products that I actually forgot that I even had. Basically products that escaped my brain and this was the foundation that I picked for that video. I don't like this. <laughs> it's so pricey. It, it smells of like, it has this florally scent to it as well. It's not like a synthetic fragrance. I think it comes from maybe like the rose oil or there is some ingredient in here, maybe the extracts, I'm not sure. It just does not look good on my skin. This product just enhances my texture. It just does not look nice on my skin. And that's the main reason why I'm gonna part ways with this. Maybe somebody else would love this. I mean, I've got this in the shade, what shade is this? The shade SF3. 
Taxel. The shade match, it was a little bit peachy. It ended up looking slightly peachy on my skin tone. Um, but it was an okay shape match. It's like the best I was able to find. I'm gonna put this in the box where my friends can grab something, but I'm gonna caution them about that. So this is no use to me. Definitely not. Oh, okay. Here is another product by Jane Iredale. This is the Jane Iredale Hydro Pure Tinted Serum. I've got this in the shade light too. Looks so pretty. I have not tried this out yet. <laughs> I heard some mixed reviews on the product. But as I said, I do want to film like um, a video where I rank and review all of my Jane Iredale foundations that I've got. I think they've got like five or something. So there's going to be more Jane Iredale products that you're going to see. And just know I am not going to be decluttering any of them. This one can stay. I don't know anything about the product. Let me know if you actually tried this out and you do have any kind of like experience with using this product. If you guys have any tips or tricks. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into with this one, but I'm gonna keep this because it's unused and I still want to film with this. Ooh, look at that. This is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. Another serum foundation, but without like the pigment balls. Ew! I mean, this is gonna go straight to the recycling center. Ew, that looks disgusting. This is so old, like, it's old. This, maybe this is about to explode. I don't, I don't know. But I actually repurchased this product. And I've got this one with the shade uh, Tan Naked Beige. And this one is the shade Rosy Beige 11. So it's a little bit more like pinky cool toned. I really want to revisit this product. I used to like it. And I tried it out once now and I was shocked. I was like, oh, I don't know if it was the right day to try that product out. I felt like it was so radiant. I might have to retry this a couple of times again and see if I actually like it or not. But I used to actually reach for this. Maybe my taste and my preferences have changed a little bit more over time. And I found some better products because back in the day I did not have as many foundations as now, obviously, this looks disgusting. This needs to be recycled. So this can go into the bin that is gonna go to the recycling center. But this is brand new. But I'm gonna hold on to this, give this another go, and then like make up my mind uh, and see if this is gonna stay in my collection or if one day I'm gonna be decluttering this. So yeah. Oh my gosh, this won't be going anywhere. This is one of my all-time Favorite, favorite, favorite foundations. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Uh, as you can tell, I did panic a little bit because Cover FX definitely had some problems during the pandemic. Uh, they've sorted it out. I think they've got acquired. I'm not sure. They definitely had some major problems, and I thought that this product would be no longer. And this is my perfect shape match. This is the shape P40. No matter the season, this is always my perfect shape match. And this is always sold out. Like guys, this is the one shade that is always sold out. I use this all the time and because I use this quite a lot, I purchased like, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at me. I purchased shade P30 and P50 thinking that maybe I could mix them up together and I would get this shade. Maybe uh, that's gonna be the case, but this is so pink. P30 is a lot more pink, a little bit too light, and P50 is straight up too deep for me. But that was the idea and that's why I've got these two weird shades that don't really match me. This is, this is it. This is my perfect shade match. I love this foundation. This has um, a really nice wear time. It looks like the finish of this. It's super like satin more like natural, not over the top like matte. It's like very like skin-like. It almost looks like my a second skin and it wears beautifully. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, but it's worth every cent. And I just, I love this. One of my all-time favorite ones, as you can tell, by the panic, I literally thought that this would be discontinued. And I was like, no, I don't want that to happen. But I love this and I use this constantly. Uh, and yeah, so this will not ever be going anywhere. We're gonna like hold on to all of these. Okay, so let's talk about another massive, massive favorite of mine. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro uh, Performance Wear Liquid Foundation and this is 
what I would call one of my all-time favorite foundations in the world. This is my perfect shade match. This shade, it's like my skin. Like you cannot tell that I'm wearing any product on my skin. It's perfection. And I've been using this so much. I'm like down to here. I literally purchased this like a couple of months ago because I used to have this product in the wrong shade. And the wrong shade is actually uh, Natural 11. That one is a little bit too yellow. Can you see the difference? Natural 11, definitely too yellow. So I'm cool beige. It's so skin-like. It looks like a second skin. Has amazing coverage, amazing performance. Wears all day. This does not have like a lot of luminosity to it. And I feel like that's why it's so skin-like. Like it just looks like normal. It does not look over the top luminous or shiny or, you know, I feel like every time I put something glowy or shiny on, I just look like I'm sweating. I look kind of like oily and I don't want that. I'm happy just having this one because I don't want any other shade anymore. So yeah, this one can go into that box. But keeping this forever and ever won't be going anywhere. Not gonna give you away. <laughs> Here is another product that I still need to try out properly. This is by Gabriel Moisturizing Liquid Foundation. I've got this in the shade Cream Beige. Uh, this product does not have a pump, which is so, super strange. Like, look at that. Uh, I still need to try this product out. This is a little bit of a newer purchase, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this one. I also have their concealer. That one was okay. I was not crazy about their concealer. So I'm really intrigued how their foundation is. So I'm going to be trying this out very soon. And this is the last foundation from this first tray. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I've got this, like, so annoying. I've got this in two shades, 4.5 and 9.5. Um, I have to mix both of these shades together to actually get my perfect shade. And that's okay. You know, I just came to terms with the fact that this shade range is, it's bizarre. A lot of people have problems with this shade range and this product in particular. It is not ideal. I'm not saying like I like this. I'm not saying I'm disliking this. This is an okay foundation. So I'm gonna hold on to them. They were also very expensive. And that's another thing that annoys me that I have to purchase like two bottles. Like I had to pay double price and I also had some shape mismatches. I gave them away. Uh, luckily enough, I gave them away to my friend who knows a makeup artist, so hopefully she was able to make use out of this product, and yeah. But I'm gonna keep these two shades, and if I mix them together, you know, they are kind of working for me. So here's the tray, reorganized. I still have some room in here, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, this was tray number one. So this is tray number two. And I feel like with this one in particular, I can definitely be a little bit more brutal. I will definitely declutter a lot. A lot of this stuff has expired, has gone bad, just needs to go, or I just don't like. So there's gonna be, I feel like with this, there's gonna be more that I'm gonna be decluttering than I'm keeping. And this was also the tray that was literally at the back of the drawer. So. <laughs> Let's see what I'm going to keep. Let's see what I'm going to be decluttering. All right, so let's actually start with the obvious product. So this is the Beauty Care Naturals Second Skin Color Match Foundation. You may ask why I have so many of these. Like, <laughs> so what can I say about this? I am not going to be featuring this brand on my channel anymore. I used to have an affiliate code with them. I still purchase all of these myself to review on the channel, but they were very sort of sketchy when it came to my commission. They weren't transparent at all. I always had to ask them. They don't have a good sort of like system in place. And I've heard from a couple of people that their customer service wasn't that nice. And it really does not happen a lot. Like, I don't think it ever happened to me that I've lost trust in a brand and I just removed my affiliate code. I don't really want to have anything to do with the brand anymore. And yeah, very rare that something like that happened to me or, you know, that I was just kind of like so bummed out that I'm like, I, I, I couldn't care less about these. I don't think they're using a lot of preservatives. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on it. But as you can tell, all of these have just gone rancid. Like they look disgusting and all of them are going to get decluttered. 
they're gonna be out of my life and I'm gonna clear up some space in my drawer. So they're gonna go to the recycling center. Ah, uh, here we actually have an entire empty, I don't know why this is in here. Why is this still in my drawer? This is the Ficlo Beauty, their very first foundation ever. This is, what was this called? Vita Active Foundation. This is, you can't get this anymore. This has been discontinued and replaced with a foundation that I actually don't like. It was a very sort of moussey texture. I mean, I liked it enough to empty it out. Nowadays, I don't think I would love it that much as I used back in the day. Um, what was this shade? 1.5. I'm gonna put this... Uh in the bin where I put all the stuff that gets recycled. So so the next one is the Madeira Skin Equal Soft Glow Foundation. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I really, I don't like this. And this is old by now. This was a better shade match than the initial shade I had. I wanted to give this another try. And then I just realized this is just not for me. This is just not for me. I don't like it. It is the shade 30. It was an okay shape match, but again, this is just not my type of formula. It's too creamy. It's just, it transfers. It has a very strange scent to it as well. I don't like the scent of this foundation. I've said that multiple times. And on my skin, this just breaks up on me like nothing else. This just does not look good. It literally does that after like an hour. Like I just, I, I can't. This is also quite expensive and it's just not worth it in my opinion. It's just not my thing, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Ew, look at this expired one. Nasty! This one by Kia Weiss, uh, as you can tell, this is disgusting. This needs to go. I ended up not loving this foundation as much because this shade, mm, what is this shade called? It's called F120 Weightless. A little bit too, I wanna say yellow. I did not like this weird sort of almond scent that this had as well. It's a really nice bottle, but this dropper was useless and the formula was just kind of like meh, you know. I liked it in the beginning and then I ended up never really reaching for it, so that just says a lot to me. It needs to go. It's, it looks disgusting. So this is one that I don't want to declutter. This is also, as I said, you know, I've been trying out a couple more like uh, drugstore foundations. This is really good. I just hate this packaging. This silly packaging who thought that this would be a great idea like what what is this this is stupid you guys but this is actually a nice formula uh this is a very very inexpensive foundation and it actually works really well it has no scent to it it looks nice on the skin it wears well i want to play around with this more i've got this in the shade soft beige and yeah i've been enjoying it very very much. I've been very late to the game though. I know that everyone was raving about this like years ago. I only purchased this recently when I went to the drugstore and I saw this. I was like, yeah, let's just let's just try it out. Like everyone kind of loves this. I want to see if I love it too. It's very thin, very runny, but has great coverage and just looks like skin, wears well and yeah. So this is gonna stay in my collection. Okay, I feel like these two by Grassa, what's this called? Grassa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. Uh, these can go. These are so expired. This was like pigment diluted in oil. It was very, very pigmented though, but I don't think that my skin necessarily likes this type of foundation where, you know, I don't do well with a lot of oil. I came to that conclusion and I had to admit that to myself, that I'm just not good with oil. Oil clogs my pores like crazy. And I have to be careful with products like these. So if you have dry skin, maybe you would love this. It's highly, highly pigmented. I've got this in like two shades. I have this in 3 and 2.5. I assume 3 is very yellow and then 2.5 is probably a little bit of a better shade. I have no idea. I can't remember. This was like... One of the first foundations I've ever reviewed on my channel. It's very expensive. Grassa is an okay brand. They have amazing eye tints. Cream eyeshadows that I love. I still use them until this day. This is gonna go to the recycling center. So one that really did not work out for me was the Elaid Refresh Fresh Tint Foundation. Their tint sort of thing. 
uh, this had such a terrible finish on me. It was so dewy. It did not look good on my skin and uh, this is also <laughs> massively expired. What's this shade? RN2. Yeah, it looks also a little bit more on the yellowy side. Not really my thing. I do have another foundation by them that I would love a little bit more if I would have the correct shade. I mean, I do have a couple of things by this brand that I do appreciate, that I do love. This is unfortunately not one of them. Too dewy not my cup of tea. I, I don't even remember that much about it. I just remember not liking it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is still in its original packaging. I think this is just the wrong shade and I never purchased a good shade. Antonym. What happened to this brand? Does this even exist anymore? What is this shade? This is the shade. Oh, beige medium light. I don't know. I'm gonna just like give this to the recycling center because I feel like this is very old. I don't even want to give this to any of my friends because I just feel like this is a very, 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 very old one. Oh, another one that can go is <laughs> the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. I don't like this. I love the my favorite foundation here, this one. I freaking love that one. This is the Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This one is so good. The Bare Pro. This one. Mm. And the shade range. Look at that shade mismatch. That was so peachy on my skin. That is not a nice formula. It looked so greasy. It did not wear well. I was so disappointed. I was very, very disappointed in this foundation. This really did let me down. Maybe someone else will like this. If not, it's fine. I'm going to bring it to the recycling center. But yeah, this was not for me. This is nothing that I personally like. Like, I, I really don't. I just, I, no, 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 this can go. Ah, guys, I do love a lot of stuff by Saint. I have to admit that. The shade match is really good, though. This is the shade Shell 1.5 Neutral. It was a good shade match. It did not look oily or glowy or anything. It looked like a beautiful sort of satin finish. Oh, I kind of want to retry this. It probably has expired by now. So I wish I could like purchase a new bottle, but honestly on the Green Jungle Beauty Shop where I always order this, uh, they don't have my shade anymore. So I'm a little bit split. I might just keep this for memory's sake. <laughs> Usually I don't really Hold on, especially not to foundations, just for emotional value purposes. But I feel like this one is kind of hard to get a hold of and <laughs> I might just try it out again, just for the jokes. But I just remember not being 100% happy with it at the end of the day. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> All right, but this one can go. This is the Boho Liquid Foundation. Oh, no. First off, this was, uh, the shade did not work for me. And then I did not like this foundation one bit because of one specific thing, and that is its scent. This smells just like, uh, it just has this terrible sort of scent to it. Uh, I don't want this on my face. I just don't. The scent really just spoils it for me. And uh, this is kind of old by now and I never liked this. I tried this out once and the scent was so overwhelming. It was so overpowering that I just, for the life of me, I cannot. So this one is going to go to the recycling center. Okay, this is like a newer one. This is the KVD Good Apple, what's it called? Full Coverage Serum Foundation. Oh, first off, I really do like this bottle. This bottle is so pretty. I'm not sure if I'm like the biggest fan of this or if this at some point will get decluttered because honestly, I don't really see myself reaching for it just because it does not wear well and I need something that performs. If I want to reach for something constantly, it really has to perform on my skin. And this one just gets a little bit oily. I'm just going to hold on to it as of right now just because it's a little bit of a newer product and 
I still maybe want to talk about it, so let's just keep it for that purpose. Oh, this is the Zooey Organic Luxe uh, Flora Flawless Liquid Foundation. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of full faces and I ended up buying a lot of foundations. I honestly feel like this is a case of a product where I just moved past it because this might contain, and I'm not sure, don't quote me on it, but I feel like this is like a foundation that contains a bunch of essential oils or something like florally. I think I liked it. I think it was a nice foundation. I just think that these ingredients these days don't work that well with my skin anymore. It's so old and it needs to go. It just needs to go. It needs to get recycled. This is almost like Kia Weiss sort of rancid and this has definitely spoiled. This needs to go. This is also very old. This is the 100% second skin foundation in the shade 2. Uh, I did do um, a foundation review on my channel on this brand and I think it's one of the most watched videos on my entire channel and I don't think I like this foundation that much. So this, this, can, this can just go. That can go. Oh, here is another one. This one I actually did like. This was the one that I liked the most out of all of their foundations. This is the 100% pure fruit pigmented water foundation. I am honestly kind of tempted to try this again. Like buy a new bottle because this obviously has expired. So I've got this in the shade Warm 3.0. Uh, just gives me a good indication of how old this is and how little I really knew about my undertone. Why did I think that a warm foundation was a good idea? I would definitely get the cool one if they do have one, but this needs to go. It is completely expired and it does not look healthy anymore. <laughs> oh, here is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation by Hourglass. So this one, maybe you're still gonna get this on their website. Um, this got replaced with their new foundation that I just showed you a minute ago. It's right here, the Ambient Foundation. Um, obviously, this shade is the shade Shell. This is too light for me. This has always been too light for me. I used this in my very first and at this point in time only full face. I really do want to do an update on Hourglass when that other foundation came out. I gave this one another try just to see if how this would compare. and. I don't know why I actually used to like this product. Honestly, it is okay, but it has such a dewy and radiant finish that this the new Ambient Soft Glow Foundation has less of a glow than this one. I think it had a lot of coverage. I think this had a very like full coverage sort of type of formula. I think also this was like one of my very first like oil-free foundations. I did reach for this a little bit, okay? I used this like a little bit for a while here and there. It does not exist anymore and this can go to the recycling center. It's very old at this point in time. I would not feel like comfortable giving this to any of my friends, so this is gonna get recycled. Okay, so this is the Pure Ruffy Color X Skin Foundation. I don't remember anything about this. I, I, I completely forgot that I even had this. What is this? This Ooh, this smells so off. Ew. Oh no. Okay, this has definitely expired. I don't remember. Oh, this has a weird scent to it too. This definitely has some fragrance in here. Um, I don't remember anything about this. But this actually like, like makes my skin tingle. So it's very expired. I'm kind of like a little bit stunned. I also don't know my shade. I'm just going to give this to the recycling center because this obviously smells very off. This has definitely, definitely expired, but I'm so sorry. I have literally zero recollection about this. Oh, and here is another product that does not exist anymore. This brand is not existing anymore. This is the Hush and Dotty Organic Liquid Foundation. This was like more of like a matte foundation. This is uh, an American brand. And this is the shade What The Buff, shade 2.0. Well, this does not exist anymore and just gonna get rid of it because you know what's the point it's expired uh, the brand got discontinued oh here is another like fit glow one what um okay well uh bye <laughs> it's empty and it does not exist anymore so 
Yeah, but I used to really like that foundation, apparently. It's going to go to the recycling center. And here is a foundation by Zeo Organic. And I don't know why I never reached for this. I used to like like it for a moment there. I think I purchased this when there was a point in time on my channel where I just wanted to review as many foundations as possible, make as many videos as possible, get as many products as possible, you know. This also just got reformulated so this product does not really exist anymore and I think the shade 701, I think they expanded the shade range. So I might be picking up like the reformulated version of this. This was okay. I don't remember anything like seriously negative about this. I just remember that it was more like the matte side, but I'm not sure how this actually performed because obviously then I moved on to the next foundation and then this kind of like got lost in my entire huge collection that I'm decluttering right now. So I'm going to keep this just for the bottle because I know that they're doing refillable packaging and this is such a beautiful, stunning, heavy, really, really heavy sort of glass bottle. And I'm going to try and get rid of the product inside and keep the outer packaging and maybe fill it up with a new one. Because this is a brand that, you know, I do have a couple of products by them that I actually do enjoy and love. So yeah, but the foundation, what is this foundation? This is actually the Silk Fluid Foundation. I'm so sorry, I forgot to say the name of the foundation it's because it's not on here. Yeah, with this product, I'm just gonna keep the bottle. This inside has expired though, so yeah. And that's the second tray, and guess what I'm keeping? I'm literally just keeping four foundations here. Oh my gosh, I have done so well. Look at that, that tray is literally almost gone that's crazy so four of all of these foundations i'm keeping so maybe i am going to have like just one drawer of foundations that's the goal for today's video so before we are moving on to the next tray i just want to quickly like talk about this foundation because this foundation is not on any tray because it's kind of like a little bit bulky and i also have three of them so this is the lisa aldridge seamless skin foundation and this is an amazing foundation. I had this initially in the shade tan and it does not really look like that, but this shade tan is actually almost empty. Like, look at that. It's like the weirdest, weirdest thing ever. Have you ever seen anything like this? But it's almost empty. I don't know if you can see at the bottom of this, but it's literally almost empty and the shade, it's like described as a neutral shade, but it leans a little bit too yellow on me. Nonetheless, I still use this whole thing almost up. It's also quite an expensive foundation, but it's beautiful. Um, however, I don't need to have three of those, okay? So the shade tan, the one that is almost empty, that I've used so, 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 so much. I mean, you can tell by this, uh, by the look of the cap, yikes. But I am going to uh, like recycle this. This is going to go to the recycling center because it's almost empty and I'm not going to reach for this shade because it's not a perfect shade match if I've got these two. And I actually did purchase the shade 12 and the shade 14 and these have a little bit more of a rosier undertone and um, the shade 12 is actually my winter shade and the shade 14 is my summer shade. So these won't be going anywhere. Beautiful natural sort of skin like finish and more on the satin sort of side. Um, beautiful buildable coverage, wears well, performs well. I really do enjoy Lisa Aldrich's brand and um, I love this product. So although it's a little bit of a pricier one, I really, really like this. And this one, it's empty, so this can go to um, the recycling center. All right, you guys, so this is the next tray. And as you can tell, I just put all of these uh, sort of like products together that are not in a bottle. Yeah, let's see if we can get rid of some stuff. And uh, this is the third tray. So hopefully it's gonna go the same way and hopefully I can get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, here is one that I can definitely get rid of. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Yikes. Why does this have an indentment? I don't know why. This is exactly what I don't like. Something that looks that oily, something that just looks like grease and I'm sorry, Kosas, 
this foundation is really really good and I love it but this one and this is also a little bit of an older one I don't even know if they're still making this but this one is gonna go to the recycling center this is like not good what shape was this just for reference shade 3.5 I don't even want to open it because I feel like it's gonna all explode so um, I'm gonna like uh, yeah recycle this this is by the brand clay and it's like the radiant skin CCC cream micro capsule technology sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 50 now the tragedy with this product is that this has somewhat of like a chemical sunscreen and I think it's a chemical one right it's actually a hybrid sunscreen it actually has like titanium dioxide which is a mineral one but it also tragically has a little bit of like chemical filters in here and it's the weirdest product ever let's actually try this out because it is just strange and bizarre it's gonna come out like a white cream okay and then when you like rub it that's when the pigment which is encapsulated oh this doesn't even have a shade shade medium light okay this is gonna adapt to your skin hmm it's made in korea i mean it's interesting but i just don't know if i actually like the texture here the undertone looks a little bit more like my skin tone a little bit you know mind you my hand is like deeper than my skin tone um i mean my face sorry <laughs> but yeah i might you know what I'm, i might just keep this it still smells fine it definitely has some perfume in there i was just a little bit like thrown back by the fact that it has like you know a chemical sunscreen i'm just gonna keep it i'm just gonna hold on to it for now okay so something that i can declutter though is this hourglass liquid powder foundation mattifying oil free now this sounds like completely up my alley however this gave me cake face cake face like unbelievable i i just thought i would like this product it's also a good shade with this oh the shade shell i think it was a good shade match um no so yeah unfortunately this one really did not work out for me and maybe one of my friends wants this i'm just gonna put it in that box but i'm not gonna keep this well the next one i am definitely going to be keeping this is by erin's faces and it's the mineral liquid powder foundation this has an spf uh, of 15 this is just perfection and this is exactly the opposite of the hourglass one this won't give me cake face whatsoever this actually performs so well and that's why i love this and erin's faces is actually a small independent brand from america and i really do love the founder erin is just such an approachable nice founder she is just such a sweetheart and i love what she's doing with this brand and i feel like more people need to talk about this especially this product uh, this might be my favorite product by the brand i really really love this i've got this in the shade tender beige so tender beige is actually really a good shade match for me and i love using this during the summer and i feel like i might be running out soon of this because there is not that much left in here and I love using this, I love reaching for this, uh, so this is not going to go anywhere and this is going to stay in my collection and I think this is also a product I would always repurchase. Alright, and then a discontinued product by Jane Iredale. This is her original Glow Time BB Cream. The formula is so much better right now, I feel like it is more lightweight still has so much coverage and we are going to get to that new product but just know i think i'm going to give this to the recycling center just due to the fact that it's kind of like an old uh, product by now and i don't think this is good anymore and next up is the airy paris old milk foundation i've got this in the shade honey honestly never enjoyed this formula i definitely do prefer her water quinoa foundation this made me look like a fool like i literally looked like i was running a marathon i looked like i was sweating it was that greasy on my skin and it was like really everything that i don't like in a foundation so yeah i never reached for this and i think at this point in time this is like kind of old and just like has to go it has to leave the building most definitely the next one is another foundation that i have by catrice this is the clean id high cover luminous matte foundation 
Oxymoron Luminous Matte. I'm not 100% sold on this product, also the shade range is quite abysmal. I do have a full face on this entire line, the Clean ID line by Catrice on my channel. Now, this is not my favorite sort of product in the world. I think I'm just gonna keep it for the sake of making the drugstore foundation ranking video. I feel like this is so much better by Catrice. This is like one of my ride or die foundations and this does not even come close to, you know, what this one does. So I, I'm kind of like, mm, I'm just gonna keep it, you know, for that video. So maybe after I'm done with that video, I might be giving this one uh, to a friend. I might be giving this to somebody who wants to try it out. I don't know, but yeah. As of right now, it's gonna stay. One that can definitely go is this one. This is the Say Slip Tint. Oof. I never reached for this. This is kind of similar to the Airy Paris one. Both of these make my skin look very greasy, very luminous, very shiny. They don't dry down and they kind of like remain a little bit like thick and like dewy on my skin and I just really don't like that. However, this one can be powdered down but I just never like reaching for it because it's a little bit hard for me to actually apply it. I don't think it goes on that smoothly on my skin. So for that reason, I think it's just time for me to let this one go. I think this can find a better home. Honestly, it's not that old just yet. So uh, I'm gonna pass this one on. All right, another foundation that can go <laughs> is this 14E Aloe Nourish Foundation. I've got this in a perfect shade match. I've got this in the shade Macadamia 2.5. Now, this one unfortunately did not work out for me. <sighs> I don't know what it was. I just really struggled applying this to my face and the worst part about this foundation is the scent. The scent profile is like literally everything I despise. <laughs> this smells like a perfume bottle of lavender. I don't like lavender on my face. I, my skin really does not do well with lavender. This one actually does include lavender oil and my skin does not react well to that ingredient in particular. It's so strong. I wish this was a little bit more subtle. Like this scent is just overwhelming and I just can't have lavender on my face. It's just a personal preference thing. And honestly, this annoyed me so much that I even forgot to include it in my a ranking video where I reviewed all of my uh, foundations and skin tints that do include a uh, mineral SPF. This has an SPF of 23 plus it's a mineral one but I just cannot use this product. I think I'm gonna put it in a box for my friends and if no one feels comfortable with this product uh, I'm gonna give it to the recycling center but unfortunately this really did not work out for me. Oh my gosh, look what I found. I found a foundation stick. I'm not sure why this is in here because I definitely do have some other foundation sticks, but this is the Milk, what's this called? Flex foundation stick. Um, I barely use this. I don't really like foundation sticks that much, honestly. I think they're just not meant for my skin type. I tried this out a couple of times and just ended up not really like liking this. So mm, I'm not sure if this is still good, but as of right now, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I also have this, I've got this in the shade buff. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I mean, I really just kind of want to minimize my entire collection. And if there's something I feel like has no purpose in my collection, I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, and then another foundation stick. Oh my gosh, this is so, 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 so old. Do you guys remember when I did this Au Naturel video? I really, really did not like this one. This is the shade Lucerne, and to be honest, like, you, this has gone bad. This felt like a thick sort of like paste and it was really hard to blend out. It's just, like almost, it almost feels like it was suffocating my skin. I just did not like this feeling on the skin. So yeah, this is gonna go. I really don't like this product one bit. And the next two foundations, literally I have no recollection. This is the Avril um, foundation and this is by Studio 78. Both of these are like French sort of organic brands with I suppose a little bit of essential oils in here or something that I, my skin might not like. 
I have no recollection. Like I purchased this and I tried this out once and obviously did not really like it that much. So I don't remember anything. And this, oh, wait, is this also like something white that's going to turn? Yes, this is like, oh my gosh, this looks yellow. Oh yeah, I think this shade did not work for me. Um, this is like the clay one. Wow, that looks golden. Yeah, so I think the problem with this foundation, honestly, it was just um, the shade. I've got this in the shade. What shade is this? Oh, one. So the lightest shade. Uh, so yeah, I don't know about this. Both of these just, they're gonna go to the recycling center due to their age. They are very, very old by now. Both of these are gonna get decluttered as well. Oh, and here is another one of those. Like I told you guys, I bought so many foundations and I also don't have any reference in any videos because apparently I did not like them enough to share them with you. So this is another one, like pure bio. Yeah, this was also a shape mismatch, way too yellow way too light on my skin. This smells completely off. This is so old. Ugh. Again, I don't remember anything about this product and um, yeah, this just has to go. It has expired and this is the problem with having too many foundations, you know, that's why I'm doing a declutter so that I can be a little bit more precise with what I want to use and, you know, not just have products just lying around at the bottom of my drawer and then completely forget about them. So this one is going to go to the recycling center as well. And look at that. I am only going to keep three foundations. That's insane. I did such a great job. And to be honest with you, I think this is going to be the only one that I will keep forever. These two I've got to see, but that is amazing. I have done such a good job in decluttering. <laughs> I did not think I would be that efficient. So yeah, three of them have survived. So let's actually move on to tray number four. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot. And oh my gosh, we have to go through all of these now. Whew. So let's see what is going to stay and what's going to leave. So maybe let's just start with this one. This is the Jane Iredale Glow Time Pro BB Cream. This is the new one. This was the old one, okay? So this is their new reformulated product and I love this. This is amazing. I really do enjoy this. This one does not smell like lemongrass anymore. It is very lightweight on the skin and Again, I'm wearing this today, actually. I've got this in the shade GT4. I'm going to be doing an entire video on all of the foundations by Jane Iredale. So this won't be going anywhere. And I really, truly have enjoyed this. All right, next one. Let's talk about the Sephora Care Natural Glow Foundation. Um, there are like two shades that I've got. I've got this in the shade 17.5 Neutral. And I have this in a new shade 21P. This is the best shade match. So I think this can go to a friend. Uh, I really do enjoy this foundation. I mean, it's a glowy foundation, but I can powder this down. It wears well. So this is not going to go anywhere. However, this 17N shade, I think it's a little bit of like a neutral undertone that again leans a little bit too yellow on my skin. So I feel like this one can definitely go to a friend. So one that can definitely go though is this uh, Milk Foundation the matte foundation. I honestly, there was a time in my life where I was using this for a little while, but this has expired on me. And to be honest with you, this was nothing but matte. Like this was like glowy, luminous, shiny. It wore okay. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. The shape match was good though. What's the shade? I don't know. Mm, I think this was the shade light. I can't remember, you guys. I don't even know if they're still making this product, but it's just old and it just needs to get recycled. Uh, yeah, it just has gone bad on me. All right, and then we've got the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. Um, I've got this in the shade Melrose. I think this is my shade match. I actually purchased like two shade mismatches and I gave them away already. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure if I like this. To be honest, I think this does not wear very well on my skin. If I ever end up making like a Tower 28 sort of like full face video, I'm gonna regret not having it. So maybe I'm just gonna hold on to this for the purpose of my channel, just to like review it again. Honestly, I feel like I'm not liking it that much, but that could depend on the state of my skin as well. So we'll have to see. I'm just gonna keep it as of right now. All right, here is another one. This is by Madeira and it's the Skinonym Semi Matte Peptide Foundation. I have recently reviewed this product um, in a video that I solely dedicated to this product and I did a wear test and I ended up looking very oily. Because this is so new, I'm just gonna hold on to it as of right now. This also has like the exact same sort of scent as the other foundation that I just had decluttered. The Skin Equal Foundation, that's what it's called. I just find it a little bit overwhelming. Yeah, it's just not my kind of like formula. Nothing that I would like want to reach for, let's put it that way. Another one that I'm gonna give to one of my friends uh, most likely is this Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. This just balled up on me. This just like sort of um, pilled up on my skin. I tried to use this. It's not the worst formula in the world, but just because it did that and it's such a pricey one, it's the shade four. It's actually a really good shape match, but I just can't use this. I don't know why this is happening on my skin. It just does not work for me. It, it pelts. So I'm just, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this to a friend. Another one that has to leave is this Pacifica Kind Tint Tinted Serum. I think this was like the worst product I've tried in the foundation category in 2022. This also pilled on my skin, but it also made my skin just look horrendous. Like, I don't understand this product. I don't want to understand this. What shade is this? A shade 19. Might have been a little bit too light on my skin tone, but I just don't like this. And uh, I would not even like give this to a friend, to be honest, because it's just such a bad formula. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna bring this to the recycling center unless somebody really wants to try this out. But yeah, I would not even feel comfortable like sharing this with one of my friends, but it has to leave. It's just not good. Oh my gosh, Bite Beauty Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This is not going to go anywhere. Bite Beauty has mainly discontinued all of their products. Um, I think they just have like one physical store left, but their online shop, it's like closed and they only, I think they just have a lip lab, but they don't have this product anymore. This is discontinued and you know what, I'm going to keep this. So when the brand actually announced that they would close their doors, um, I went ahead and I purchased a few more of these. This used to be one of my favorite foundations. I actually emptied out two of these. So this was something that I emptied multiple times and I repurchased it. And this is my winter shade L40. I also have this in the shade M65. This is my summer shade. I still use this. I love this. This is like more of like um, a luminous, sort of almost like luminous slash satin finish that when I powder it down, it just wears so, so well. The longer you wear it, the better it's gonna look. And that is just so hard to find. This wears incredibly well. It looks amazing on camera. It's so, so good. Uh, it has more of like um, a medium buildable coverage. It's more of like a thick consistency, to be honest with you, but I just love using this. I always use this with a brush, surprisingly. I prefer this with a brush over a sponge, although usually I prefer a sponge for my products. But yeah, this is just such an amazing one. I truly love this and I enjoy this product so much and I still have a couple more of those. <laughs> this used to be my everyday go-to foundation for such a long time. It was kind of sad. This was very tragic to me. So yeah, but I still hold on to these and I will use them. I love them. This one is the Ali Oop Sensational Broad Spectrum SPF 50. So I recently made a video on this where I have reviewed this product. Um, I don't know if I like this, to be honest with you. It's so cool having like a mineral SPF 50 tinted sunscreen, but just the finish of this and this just did not look very flattering on my skin. I'm not a big fan of the formula. It's just too thick, um, too transfery and it just did not wear well. As of right now, I'm just gonna hold on to it. But if one of my friends wants this, uh, I'm happy to give this away. Oh, look at this one. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue 
Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream SPF 30. I recently got this in a mini in the exact same shade that I've got in Natural 05 and it's actually a really good shape match. I love this. This is actually a really, really, really stunning product. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna hold on to this because this is something I actually do want to have in my collection and I really love this. Um, this is amazing. So yeah, this is gonna stay. Oh, here we go. And this is by Rodial Beauty. It's the SPF 20 Skin Tint Plus. I've got this in the shade New York. This is like, literally, I purchased this a couple of days ago. Um, because the shade Hamptons here, O2, was so yellow. Like, this did not work for me at all. But I actually do enjoy this formula. This is like a beautiful medium coverage and it wears so, so well. Um, it has more of like a natural finish, like more satin natural. It's a much better shade match than uh, the shade Hamptons. And I'm gonna give that shade Hamptons away. I'm gonna put it in the box for my friends. I'm gonna have to clean this up though a little bit. But yeah, it's such a good formula. It's just a shape mismatch. So I'm gonna put this in the box for my friends. Um, so this can still stay. I love this. I really, really like it. Uh, oh gosh, the next one is Honest Beauty Triple C Clean Corrective with Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer. I don't think this shape terra light is perfect for me i think it's a little bit yellow uh, i don't know about this it's okay it's not the best it's not the worst but i will never reach for it so hopefully it's gonna find a better home where somebody is just gonna give it a little bit more love than i do all right let's continue with this one this is the face theory foundation this has a chemical sunscreen however this does not burn my face and this is actually a beautiful foundation so I'm gonna hold on to this. It's the shade number four. It has like a good amount of coverage, like medium coverage, has a beautiful finish, and I love this. This is gonna stay, this is actually good. Oh, another product by CoverFX. This is their Natural Finish Foundation N25. I don't know how I'm feeling about this, although this is like an oil-free sort of foundation, but it also has more of a like a glowy sort of luminous finish. I feel like their Power Play foundation, the one that I really love so, so much, this one right here, is like superior to this. Because of the shape mismatch, I might just put this in the box that my friends can like, you know, grab something if they want something. So I'm gonna declutter it. Ooh, and then the last one from this tray is the Westman Atelier foundation, vital foundation stick, what's this called? Vital skin foundation stick in Atelier 2. Now, it looks like I've used this a lot. I just used this when I filmed with it, and I'm gonna give this back to my mom. If she likes this shade for the winter, she has, she loves this foundation. It's time for this to just leave my collection. I feel like this is just a foundation that does not work with my skin. It is, I have a whole video, a full face of this brand, and I just never liked this product. I never ever liked it and it just needs to leave my collection because this has no use. It is just not nice on my skin, it never dries down, it looks ridiculous with powder, it just breaks up on me and it's very expensive. My mom, who has a little bit more mature skin, loves this product. So, you know, not everyone is built equally. <laughs> And this is definitely something that does not work for me. You may love this, I just don't, and it's gonna leave the house, definitely. So these are all of the foundations that I am gonna be keeping. Oh wait, there is another by Beauty one. Oh, L40 and L45. I think this is a different undertone. I think this is the pink undertone and this is the neutral undertone. Honestly, I was just a little bit confused myself because I was like, this looks like I, I never used it. And that's why, because I'm actually using the shade L45 and this is the shade M65. Okay, that makes sense. So this is actually my winter shade. I was using this during the winter and this is my summer shade. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using L40 that much, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'm gonna give this away. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these and then this one can go into the box for my friends. All right, but this is everything that I'm gonna keep from this tray so let's move on i think to the final tray yeah let's move on to the final tray this is exciting this is the final one i know it's not a tray <laughs> 
it's because I was running out of my trays and now I've got one that is completely empty. So maybe I can finally fit everything in just one drawer instead of two. So yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so let's actually start with some cream foundations. Some of them come in a stick. This is the Hourglass Vanish uh, stick, foundation stick. Um, I've used this a couple of times, but to be honest with you, I think I've got a shape mismatch. I think, again, I bought everything in that shade Shell initially, and I think it's a little bit too light on my skin tone. Uh, I might have to, like, repurchase this one again. I'm not sure if I'm feeling comfortable, like, giving this to someone else because it's a stick. Um, they may have to just cut off, like, the top. But this is an okay sort of stick foundation. There are a lot of cream foundations, aka stick foundations, that I've tried out and that I did not enjoy. This was honestly one of the better ones though. If I could find this in a better shade, I will get it in a better shade. But yeah, I think it's time to go for this because what I'm gonna do with a shade that I will never be using, so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna clean this up, obviously, and then put it in a box. Maybe it's gonna find a better home than mine. <laughs> Another shape mismatch is the Bodyography Pro Perfect Stick Foundation. Why did I get this in a shade called Sand? I don't know. Like, what's wrong with me? This obviously did not work for me. This is like way too yellow. This is so yellow. Oh yeah, no. No. And I don't even think I would like this formula, although I'm not sure, so I don't really want to speak on this. I can just tell you that this is the wrong shade, so maybe one of my friends is going to appreciate this. So mm, let's just put it also with my hourglass one away. It still looks like almost like brand new. This is just gonna go to a better home as well. Oh, this is such an old one. Do you guys remember this? This is Lily Lolo Cream Foundation Silk. I almost panned this one. Honestly, nowadays, I don't think I love this product as much as I did back in the day. It's okay. It has a good amount of coverage, but it's so old at this point in time that I think I'm gonna let this one go and I would not dare giving something like that to a friend. So this can go to the recycling center. Another one that definitely needs to go because I have zero emotional attachment to this product. This was like, honestly, maybe even the worst foundation I've ever tried. At least the worst cream foundation I've tried in my life. Like this is so bad. This is by 100% pure and it's the fruit pigmented cream foundation in the shade Creme, and bleh, this was, oh gosh, this is completely dried out too. This is like solid. This has completely left the building. I mean, this packaging, it's not airtight, so this packaging is a problem for like a cream product. You know, it's just gonna dry out so, so quickly and these products are not inexpensive. Um, this can definitely get recycled. Um, so I'm gonna bring this to the recycling center, but it has to leave the building. It just broke up on me like in no time and it was just not for my skin it's just not a nice sort of elegant formula and that's why it just has to go the next product is actually a really beautiful cream foundation however this is not my shade this is the shade un2 and it's a neutral undertone but this is yellow it's very, very yellow. This is, oh, I didn't even say what this is. <laughs> this is by Elate Beauty and it is there, what's this called? What's this called? Uplift Full Tint Foundation. Oops, this also has completely left the building. I mean, this has dried out by now. This is like a couple of years old. Honestly, I like this, but it's just a little bit too yellow in undertone. I do want to try this out again and try out a more like pinky shade like they definitely have expanded the shade range It was like a beautiful finish. It's a very cosmetically elegant sort of formula But the shade was just not for me. I look very yellow with this So, you know, this is gonna go to the recycling center as well. This is a really heavy like glass jar It's really pretty, but it just needs to go and it's very old and it has dried out. So Bye. Oh, the next one can also go. <laughs> I don't even think that they are still making this. Maybe this got discontinued. Honest Beauty Cream Foundation in the shade Linen. Mm, ew. This does not look very healthy anymore. Honestly, I 
I don't like this. This is like the type of cream foundation that is kind of deceiving. In the beginning, it looks fine. And after an hour, it looks like so makeup-y. It, it's going to melt off your skin. And I never really like ended up liking this. So this is going to get decluttered. I don't even think this exists any longer. <laughs> I don't think this is available anymore, but it's going to go. Uh, another cream foundation by a brand that unfortunately does not exist anymore. I really like this brand, Lila B. Can you see? I was digging in there. I actually do love this and I did repurchase this foundation again. So I do have um, a new one because they shut down, you know, they closed their doors, uh, they're out of business. This had such a beautiful coverage. My favorite cream foundation until this day. It wore really well on my skin and I just really think this is a beautiful formula. Very skin-like and I love this and I, I, I am still so upset by the fact that this brand is no longer because there were quite a lot of products that I really did enjoy by this brand. So this is gonna go to the recycling center but just rest assured I have a backup uh, and I just love this. This is fantastic best cream foundation ever made and it's just a little bit of a shame that this is no longer another cream foundation the rms cover-up cream foundation hmm i don't like this <laughs> i reviewed this in a full face of rms and since they have released this product right here the one that i love so 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 much i don't really see a point in keeping this <sighs> Look at that, I have barely used this. Like I've, I've used this mainly for video purposes when I reviewed this product, but it just ends up looking so greasy on my skin. And it's not the worst cream foundation though. I just wanna mention that though. It's kind of like middle ground, but I feel like somebody else may enjoy this a lot more than I do. I've got this in the shade 22. So this product is gonna go into the box that my Friends can serve themselves from if they wish to do so. Oh my gosh, here is another one. Manasi 7 Beauty Evolution Skin Enhancer Satin Finish. This was the weirdest product and one of the most expensive products I've ever tried out. And this shade, it's completely wrong. Ew, and it has gone bad. Ew, look at that. Ew. That is disgusting. This needs to go. But look at how yellow this shade is. This is a yellow disaster. It was such a fail. Also, this made my skin look super cakey. So this is like a pass for me. This is by Sweet Leilani. And this is their liquid foundation. Uh, this is the shade Nude Beach. Unfortunately, this was like a shade mismatch. And I never purchased the correct shade. And this is long gone. So I honestly also, I don't really appreciate this packaging. It's just a little bit annoying. This was also more of like a mineral powder liquid sort of foundation thing. And I don't remember much because I tried it out a little bit on my face and then I was like, well, you know, this is the wrong shade. I don't really know you guys. I'm just gonna like, you know, give this to recycling center, unfortunately, because I don't, I, it's expired. You know, I could not pass this one on. So <sighs> sad story, but whatever you know all right and the next one i'm definitely gonna get rid of this one too this is the Ilia super serum skin tint spf 40. uh <laughs> you may know if you have watched any of my videos that i don't like this product one bit this really did not work on me whatsoever this was like pure grease on my skin it was way 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 too glowy it also just did not sit well on my skin and it was very hard for me to apply this to make it look even and to make it look like elegant like it was just such an unelegant formula on my skin also it really has expired now in the beginning this really did not have a nice scent so let's give it a test oh. <laughs> in the beginning it just smelled like cooking oil and now it smells like stinky socks and <laughs> So I would never feel comfortable passing this on to a friend. Has expired, it's not working. I have this in the shade ST, ST7 Dears. I don't even think the shade was that great on me. So it just has to go. Another one that has to go, leave my collection, is the Lawless Woke Up Like This in the shade Sunrise. Now this one got discontinued. I used to like this foundation because it really did have like a decent amount of coverage, although it had more of like a dewy finish. But also another thing is 
that this foundation did include quite a lot of essential oils, I think, and I'm not about that anymore. That's gonna go to the recycling center. Oh, this is kind of like a tragic story. Kia Weiss, uh, this is their cream foundation. What, why do I have two and why do I have a refill? I don't, I, I mean, here's the paper refill. I think it's a shade thing. I think I, let's, let me, tr let me see, let me see. I purchased the shade Silken initially. That shade did not work for me, and then they did send me the wrong shade, and that's the shade Weightless. I did not order this. I actually ordered the shade Paper Thin. Then I ended up completely forgetting about them. So I'm gonna get rid of the inside of the pants, and I'm gonna put this refill uh, product in here and see if I like this or not, I don't remember anything. I just remember this was the wrong shade. I'm gonna definitely hold on to this outer packaging because this is refillable. As you can see, you can just poke the pan through here, lift it up and then remove it and refill it. So I will have to try it out. I really hope this has not dried out in this sort of paper packaging. Uh, we shall see, but as of right now, I'm gonna hold on to the outer packaging most definitely. All right, and then the next one is going to be Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I've got these in two shades. Um, this, honestly, I wore one of these foundations for my best friend's wedding, and this is actually a beautiful formula. The thing is, I think none of these shades match me 100%. Uh, I have this in the shade fair light and one in the shade light and i think i'm gonna get rid of the shade fair light and just hold on to the shade light as of right now this is a nice product you know it has a little bit more of a radiant luminous finish it has really good coverage i just don't like this packaging look at the packaging it's again one of these like foundations that come with a doe foot like that is just it's a little bit annoying but I'm gonna hold on to the shade light. I think it's a little bit peachy. It's definitely not like a perfect shade match, but it's a nice formula. So I'm gonna keep the shade light and I'm gonna put this in the bin, um, in the recycling bin, you know, the one that I'm gonna give to the recycling center. Alwayas is up next. Triple Fix Serum Foundation. What a beautiful bottle, let me just tell you that. However, I really dislike this uh, formula. It's a good shape match though. It's the shade LN6, light neutral six. It's a good shape match, but this formula is just not working on my skin. I am planning to just hold on a little bit longer to this product just to actually film with this. This is definitely just gonna stay for review purposes because I do wanna make a video on all of the more affordable sort of drugstore products and this is quite inexpensive. I just think this is not for my skin type. I feel like this one could be really good for somebody with dry skin. If you've got dry skin, I think you may really appreciate this one. It just did not look flattering after a couple of hours. It's just wore very very poorly on my skin but i'm just gonna hold on to it a little bit longer and then it will go oh my gosh this one can also go <laughs> this is the vapor soft focus foundation do you guys remember this this was the foundation that i reviewed in my very very first video here on youtube vapor is no longer in business they have shut down this brand does no longer exist and this foundation never worked on me and it just always looked kind of weird got this in the shade what is this shade 1155 maybe it just did not sit well on my skin it was like a very weird texture and this is just gonna go yeah bye vapor oh and here we've got one that i may have to pick up again in another shade so this is the uma say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation that was a mouthful and this is the shade Fair Lady T2N. I do want to pick this up in a cool undertone. The formula was really, really lovely. Uh, but the shade, again, a neutral undertone that leans quite yellow. So I definitely do need a new shade. I'm going to put it in the box where my friends can actually, you know, grab something if they want to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit old at this point in time and I definitely do need a new shade of this. And let me know if you're interested in this at all. I would love to pick up a new one. So this is the Bodyography Oil-Free Natural Finish Foundation. Obviously, there is not one shade that matches me, <laughs> unfortunately, because I am... Yeah, I don't want to say I'm a huge fan of this product, but also I kind of like it, you know. It's not a bad one. 
And I think I have to mix, this is going to be a mixing situation because this one definitely has the right undertone. This has more of a pinky undertone. But just look at, the, this is so weird. Like, why is this 125 shade so much deeper than the 130 shade? Like, that does not make much sense, right? And then the 150 shade is too deep and this is too light and both of them have the wrong undertone. Those lean kind of yellow and I think there might be neutral undertones, again, neutral undertones that lean a little bit too yellow. I feel like 150 can go to one of my friends because this is not that old yet. I'm going to have a look at the other existing shades and, you know, maybe find something that's going to mix well with 125. But as of right now, I'm going to keep these two because I actually like this foundation. Okay, and then the next one is the Rare Beauty Foundation. I love this product. I initially purchased this in the wrong shade. I purchased this in 210N. I used this for a very long time in the wrong shade. Since I've used this quite a lot, I am going to part ways with this shade in particular. I'm going to give this to the Recycling Center because it's very old. And I literally purchased this when this was released, which is quite a while ago. But I'm going to hold on to these two shades. And I have to mix them, which is not a problem because I can just dot them on the face and then just blend them out on my face. So with this product, I really don't mind it that much. So I have this in the shade 200C and I have the shade 160C. So I've got to mix these shades together, but I'm going to hold on to this because I like this foundation a lot. It is very much like full coverage and... It just has so much pigment that you don't need a lot of this product. It blends out beautifully, has more of like a natural, a little bit of a luminous sort of finish. All in all, I like this foundation. This is definitely going to stay. I mean, both of these shades are going to stay. Okay, you guys. So basically, this is everything I am going to be keeping. I am so happy. Initially, I started out with five trays full of makeup. So... Here is a tray that is the fullest. This one right here. This is everything I'm going to be keeping. This one, and look at that. Actually, it's like two trays and a half because <laughs> I've got like a lot of space here and I'm going to be able to put all of them in one drawer instead of two. So all together, all of these products together, 40 foundations. 40 foundations I'm going to be keeping and uh, in the box that I'm going to like offer to my friends, there's like 21 foundations. And in the one that I'm going to bring to the recycling center, there are 41 foundations. So I literally got rid of like more than 50% of my entire collection. And I'm so proud of that. So that is just so, so satisfying. And I'm so happy to have just a little bit more of a curated foundation selection, you know, knowing that these products, most of them will get used and I still have enough foundations, you know, to film with and have a good variety. I really hope you found this declutter video helpful. Let me know if you have decluttered anything recently out of your foundation collection. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. In case you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos and until next time please do take care thank you so much for watching bye bye, bye.